guys. It is a little later in the day. I'm not going to lie. I spent all day cleaning the house really well. Um, again, I don't know why. I just needed to clean. Um, I feel like I didn't get it, get it that clean the other day. Um, like I wanted to before the couches came. And then since we are rearranging everything so much, um, I didn't get it clean as well as I wanted. So I did it today. Um, so I moved last night when we were sitting here, it was so dark cause I had taken these lamps and taken pictures of them. I was going to put them on Craigslist cause they don't really, they just don't match the style anymore. Um, but they're good lamps. And I was going to sell them with the LED bulbs in them, which is, those are freaking expensive. But, um, so then it was so dark in here. I'm like, I'm just going to leave them here until after my friend comes and buys the sectional tomorrow. Um, then I'll go buy lamps with that money. Um, and then Justin's going to try to build the table for behind the couch. On Saturday, we're going to see Peter Pan 360 with my family. It's like a... I don't know. They like build this big tent. It's kind of like going to the theater. They build this big tent and then, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's a big tent and they do theater in it and they like impose images all over the tent around you. So it's like all around you, the scenes and stuff. And then they're directly in the middle and they like fly up. <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it. If I can take some pictures, like, not of the production, but like before, whatever. I don't know. I will. We'll see. Um, really glasses? I really miss my old glasses. Just because I'm not used to these. They changed my prescription, but it's better than nothing. <sighs> Yesterday, I was surprised because we um, left. Like I, I had said earlier, I didn't want Justin to feel like he, like if we went to go see my mom's headstone for her birthday like we needed to leave his um grandma's or anything like in some kind of rush but he um he surprised me he didn't want to stay that long after I mean we stayed for like 45 minutes but um I was like when we got in the car I was like babe I hope you didn't like rush that to go do this because the you know I can come up here by myself on her birthday because it was like 20 minutes down the road, well, more like 30, but apparently it was like, really, he used to live at his grandma's while he went to college and with his uncle. So I think being in the house was really hard on him. So, um, we just came home yesterday and watched TV. He watched a bunch of comedy stuff, which put him in a better mood and like, you know, made him laugh, which is good. Um, but I was like delirious from the sun and I fell asleep at like nine o'clock, I think. Um, yeah, I have some, I actually have a sun allergy. I don't know if I've ever talked about it. PM, PM, I don't know the technical name for it, but I'm allergic to the UV rays and I wear sunscreen every day. But, um, like if I know I'm going to go be standing in the sun for a long time, I wear something like the special lotion or whatever. Um, like day to day, I used to wear it all the time when I left the house, but I don't like if I'm going for a walk with the dogs, I put it on or, you know, stuff like that. But if I know like I'm going to go be standing in direct sunlight, I really need to have it on. Um, otherwise, I get a rash and it's really painful. Um, and that happened yesterday, like all over my chest and anywhere that I like. Um, I still have a few... I don't know if they're going to show up. They're probably not going to show up. Um, the quality isn't that good on this camera. But I still have a few all over my arms and stuff. So that just like drained me. I'm really sorry. There wasn't a vlog. But I just wanted to spend like what energy I had left. Because I had had insomnia. Which I felt terrible about. Because I was like a zombie yesterday. And um, But I just wanted to spend the time I had left before I fell asleep with Justin. Because I it really broke my heart. To see him like so upset that he didn't want to like hang around too long at the house because the you know the the memories were painful um but I understand that so anyway um I just cleaned the house today I'm waiting for Justin to get home I think it that box we bought to build like my 
storage box idea I had with rope and whatnot, um, it, it did not, it wasn't the right dimensions. We got everything right except the length going behind. I don't know. It just, it didn't work out. So I was thinking this evening we could run to the container store because they have tons of different kinds of boxes um, and see if they had something there because I need to go to Trader Joe's and it's kind of in the same area. Trader Joe's. We're so late. We left earlier, but there was two dogs loose. Like we, if if we had if we hadn't been paying attention and slowed down, we would have killed that one, right? Yeah. Like we stopped our car completely and tried to let them cross the road, but there were two of them running around together. They looked like they were someone's pet. One had a collar. I tried to get them. I tried really hard to lure them in the car. I feel bad though because. They kept running towards the street, and then they ran the bayou, and I couldn't get them, so it made me really sad. So pretty much the rest of the night, and probably for like the next few weeks, all I'm going to think about are those dogs. I hate when I can't do anything, and once they got on the side of the street, there was like traffic racing by, and they kept running from me. I was like, I'm going to scare them. Like, even when I tried like the technique, because you're not supposed to chase dogs like that, um, like, or approach them. They're more curious when you turn your back or you sit down or you lay down or whatever. I don't know, but I just, I was scared they were going to run the street because we almost hit one of them, but we slammed on the brakes and then we stopped so we could cross all the way. And then somebody almost hit the other one. I just, and they were like, I just kept thinking like, what if Amber and Ralph got out and that was them? So now it's just going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Like every stray that gets away and I can't help <laughs> haunts me. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I didn't have such a sight. Like, I don't wish this because I wouldn't want to be, like, that kind of person. But sometimes it's hard to be, like, so... I'm about to cry. Love animals so much because then, like, when you can't do anything, it really sucks balls. I was just talking about, um... In the parking lot. Changing the subject. <laughs> I asked Justin, and I was like... Like, before getting a gun and stuff, have you ever when you're walking somewhere, mostly probably a woman thing, but because, you know, when we're in the grocery store parking lots by ourselves, we have to be aware of everything. Have you ever wondered, like, what could I use as a weapon? I was just carrying around a bag of frozen stuff, pretty heavy. I was like, as we're walking in the park, I'm like, somebody mugged us right now, whack them over the head with these frozen tamales. <laughs> He's like, no, I never think that. I'm like, maybe it's just a woman thing that we always have to worry about. If somebody tried to take our purse, what would we do? But I was like, these would make a good, you wouldn't expect like this like frozen thing of tamale company tamales to be so heavy, but they are. And if you got hit in the head with them, it would be surprising. Just like. Sure I'm sure they wouldn't expect one of us pulling out a gun and shooting them either. Well, no, I know they wouldn't, but it just crossed my mind. I'm not, I'm not, I like, that's what before guns, before concealed handgun licenses and stuff. Oh. That's what I'm saying. You never just like, as. I don't know. No. Just my thoughts. I love the container store, can you tell? We're here for boxes. So many boxes. Justin's walking very slow. We should be able to find something here, I hope to God. Have the exact size box we need, but there's one I think I could live with and work with. I don't know. Justin's checking the price on something. The box is like three fifty. <sighs> like pulling the rope. Now I'm starting to wonder if I should just find some freaking baskets. Not to put forth all this effort. If it's gonna be about the same price. Especially if I'm going to put material inside it. Because material is so expensive now, too. So, how much is it? It's the quarter inch is $7.99. See? Remember, so I said, oh, if I bring 20% off coupon, plus $350. Plus, I don't know how much for if it's, I do this. It's going to take a lot to go around those two. You don't think it's one's going to be enough? Let's see. Oh. I actually can't believe it. I guess I'll be looking at their baskets too while I'm here. Okay, so we're home and 
there was no boxes or baskets or anything at the container store. And the reason I'm being so crazy about size, it's not even necessarily the width that's getting me. It's I want it to be a certain height so that I can separate their toys into the ones they play the most with. Like Ralph plays a certain kind and Amber plays a certain ones. I can separate them into two boxes and put one on each side. And then that way they have their own toy boxes. But I need it to be exactly the height of the shelf because if it's too like short, then they can get their paw in there and just pull the toys down wherever they want. And they can't do that because Ralph can't play with toys unsupervised. So, I don't know. Um, I've caught Amber opening the toy box they have now, like pulling the lid off. So I really need to make sure there's no space for anything. So I think tomorrow, I'm going to the grocery store. But I think tomorrow, like, before I go to the grocery store, I'm going to go buy Ikea and see they had these boxes I saw online I think we can raise the shelf just inside a little bit to make the boxes fit but I don't I don't think I liked the color I don't know I'm gonna have to look at it I don't know I might just buy one and see how I like it and then go back but there's also Garden Ridge Pottery which is now at home um, and we can go to that one it is so weird sitting over here it sounds strange I keep like tripping <laughs> I keep like tripping out now the couch has moved like when I sit on this couch it's so weird it's so it's like a different perspective I don't know anyway what was I saying ADD over here um yeah I'm not gonna Ikea tomorrow and there's a garden ranch pottery but it's not near anywhere where I'm going so <sighs> oh so I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow I need to do laundry. I need to do some grocery shopping. Um, no. We've changed how we're eating, and I might talk about it later. I just want to make sure it's working for Justin because I know it's been working for me before I, like, talk about what we're doing. I don't know. People always have way too many opinions about other people's way they do things, so I don't even know if I want to talk about it. It's something bad. It's, like, actually really good and, like, a bunch of... Of my friends in my fertility group were like, oh, I never thought of that. So, I don't know. Anyways, I am going to go to bed because I'm tired. And I think it's, like, helping a lot. I made it so that the only kind of caffeine I have is in the morning. Like, that's it. That helps a lot. Usually, I don't drink caffeine after 3, but I've been bad about that, so... I had like a coffee this morning, then water the rest of the day, and this ice, whatever that sparkling stuff is, I tried that. It was pretty good. I think it'll be good if I ever like crave a soda. It's got like artificial sweeteners, so I don't think it's like the healthiest or the best thing. I wouldn't like drink them daily, but I think it's good. It's better than drinking a soda, and I've been really craving sodas recently, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Bye! Thank you.